Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dom, and today we're checking out a city a tweet called J Launcher. This is a new multitasking tweak for iOS, and it brings a different bit of a flavor to the old school standard, you know, multitasking bar down here, and it gives you a whole different interface. Now, what's even cooler is you can set it up with an activator method and activate it however you'd like. So enough talking about it. Let me show you how this thing works. So I'm going to double press the home button, which is how I have it set up. And as you can see there, everything flows in so nicely and, and the interface looks really great actually. You have all of your apps on the side here that you can kind of scroll through like that. And then you have music controls, volume, and brightness down here as well, along with the time and the date at the top. J Launcher really looks like something native in my opinion and it definitely has a nice look to it. So as you can see there, everything just fades out when we exit out of it and let's go back into it real quick. So the icons fly in from the side, the background kind of fades in, everything flies in from that side. It's got a pretty nice touch to it. Now, the one thing I noticed though with JLauncher is right now there's no ability to close apps here. You can swipe through them, but if you long press on one, no icons go into wiggle mode, no red X appears, nothing like that. So there's no way to close the apps right now. Now I'm sure that might be something that will come with an update, but either way, the app switcher idea here is very, very cool. And like I said, it sets up with an activator command. There are absolutely no options to configure J Launcher. All you do is go into your settings app, go into activator, and set it up on an activator method here. I have it set for double press and you can see that right there, J Launcher multitasking made better. And I have to say, I really do like it. I wish it had the ability to close apps, but that's not a huge deal. This does look very sleek and it works really well. It kind of provides everything that you would normally get from swiping across the bottom multitasking bar all on one screen here. And I mean, the effects just look great. I think this is a really well-made tweak and it's definitely worth a look. If you're interested in purchasing J Launcher, it's available for $199 in the Big Boss repo. It requires iOS 5 or higher. And like it says here, it allows users to get the most out of multitasking. It can completely replace your app switcher just by setting up an activator command there like that. And it definitely provides a, a better user experience in my opinion. Go ahead and check out J Launcher and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.